You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. What did the heart attack feel like? Uh, well, it was, uh, I had said my goodbyes, you know, I had said goodbye to my wife. Uh, I struggled for about uh, half an hour. Uh, I didn't know what that pain was. Uh, in fact, to an extent that um, I was smoking during the heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so it all started, it was during the, in fact, it was ebbing of the Delta wave. So okay. everything was shut down and the hospitals were catering to uh, COVID patients and uh, Delta wave, as you know, was horrendous, absolutely horrendous. So many people we know died during that. And uh, it was during that that I had the, the heart attack. What does it feel like when it first starts happening? So the pain is absolutely intense. Nothing like I had felt ever before. Um, and it's like somebody is sitting on your chest and crushing you. It's throbbing pain. And it's not, uh, how shall I put it? It's not as a physical injury. It's like, I don't know where it's coming from. It's like from the depths of your body, God knows where. So I thought, what the hell is going on? And I... I had a smoke, it didn't go away. Uh, then I lay down. I had a bath during the heart attack. I said, this is so weird. I, I couldn't explain it. And then when I started vomiting, then I realized this is something absolutely serious. So then I immediately drove to the hospital. Uh, and uh, my wife was next to me. And uh, then I knew something is serious that is happening. And 100 meters before I reached the hospital, I lost uh, all sensation of my limbs. Really? So, uh, it was like Dev Devanand on the steering wheel. <laughs> you were driving? Yeah, I was driving, yeah. My wife uh, claims she knows how to drive. She has a driver's license. She's not supposed to say this, but uh, if she was driving, then I would have not died of heart attack, but through an accident. So I think it was good that I drove. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, but then uh, luckily the car was automatic. So somehow we reached there and when we reached there, uh, the, em the normal regular emergency of the hospital was converted into COVID emergency. So we had to find where the other emergency is. Um, the cafeteria had been converted into an emergency room for the normal non-COVID patients. So then they immediately gave me uh, a medicine that, was, that would dilate uh, uh, you know, my blood vessels and uh, I think produce nitric oxide or something. I forget the name of the, the thing. What, what Biologically, what is a heart attack? So uh, basically it's clogging of your artery. So there are three main arteries that follow from something called LD. And one of the arteries is LAD. And this turned out to be 100% blockage of the LAD. Basically over time... Because of Over lifestyle, time, food, because whatever. of, yeah, I mean, the food intake, smoking. I was a smoker for 30 years. The last cigarette I smoked was during the heart attack. <laughs> so I haven't smoked for two years. Poetic. <laughs> <laughs> Serves me right. In fact, it's been exactly two years. Today? No, 20, okay. uh, May, May end. 29th that, May was the one. That would have been a little too poetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct. I'm not trying to make fun of your situation. No, no, no. no this is all. So I, I tried to resist uh, death, to be honest with you, uh, you know, yeah, I was saying it's paining someone do something it's like people sitting on my thing. And and, and uh, then after five, 10 minutes lying on that hospital, uh, you know, bed, then I there was a strange eerie calm that descended on me because I said I, I have fought whatever I could. This is not going to end. Eerie calm. Yeah, because I, I mean, it, the pain wasn't going away. And uh, there's only so much you can read and, you know, flutter and kind of do things. And I said, goodbye. Like you submitted to the pain. Yes, I submitted. And then the next thing I remember was, uh, I mean, of course, I don't remember. Morphine was also given to me for the pain. Was uh, the doctor came and he did the angioplasty through the wrist, not through the thigh. And uh, what, what does that even mean, bro? <laughs> so <laughs> like... what they do is they insert uh, a balloon that breaks the plaque that has the cholesterol uh, or the deposits there. And then they put a stent there, uh, kind of a physical stent there that would open, uh, that would uh, reopen that passage. And they insert it from your thigh. And they it... used to, now they do it from the wrist. And it, as in they put it in your bloodstream, so it goes to yes. your heart. So they have a wire. So they take it to, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible. And it was, mine was supposed to be the fastest 
angioplasty they have done in that hospital's history. I'm very thankful to one Dr. Kachru. He saved my life, Ranjan Kachru, he's an incredible person. Um, well, that's how, that's the thing. And I had never exercised in my life before that. I was smoking for 30 years. Uh, and that was the peak of COVID and all that. Okay. So uh, that's the story. And it's it's a huge lesson. You know, you asked me earlier that um, what's the secret of your, you saying whatever you want to say. I've always been of that disposition. Uh, but now it's just, I don't give a damn. I saw, I mean, I, once you say your goodbyes, every day is a blessing. I've had a lot of soldiers on this show yeah. say that this exact concept yeah. uh, has been spoken about. But, but you know, I'll, I'll tell you there's a difference there because, uh, uh, of course, soldiers are, uh, you know, my heroes. But if you, uh, death by accident, you still lament, you know, you still, uh, you think, oh, it's unfortunate. It should not happen when you die of an accident or something. Previously, once I, I nearly died of drowning. I didn't know how to swim and I was in a raft and I was rafting quite foolishly. And this wave came and kind of uh, turned over the raft and all that stuff. And I thought I'd stop breathing, you know, <laughs> survived somehow. But there I, I, I wanted to live, you know, because I wanted to fight that because you feel it's unfortunate. It shouldn't happen to you. Here, what do you want to do? You, you, would you lament eating burgers and smoking for 30 years in that instant? <laughs> you can't take, you can't renew that life, right? You can't say, oh, look, I, you know, I'm sorry I ate burgers and I had Mysore parks and I had smoked for 30 years and this is the result. Please don't do this. No, there, there is a calmness that descends on you. There's a, a submission. That's the word, you know. When you submit and then you survive, then that day is, every day is a blessing. New clips released at the same time that a podcast releases. This is TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe.